everyone, it's Eric from Brick and Tide Home Group, and we're back with another real estate market update for Palm Beach Gardens, Jupiter, and the surrounding areas here in South Florida and the Treasure Coast. This month, we're here with the March 2023 update, since those numbers just came out recently the past few days here. So we're going to do a quick deep dive into those. So let's get started here, looking at single family homes for Palm Beach County as a whole. So we see year over year, it's down 7.9% as far as closed sales compared to last year, March 2022. And same thing, dollar volume is down slightly 14.2% compared to March of 2022. However, what I would like to point out is the trend. So what we actually see, if you scroll a little bit further down the page here, you'll see March closed sales of 1465 is actually significantly higher than what we've seen in the months prior and actually the highest number we've seen since about June of 2022. So that's a promising sign there. And if we scroll down for total dollar volume, it paints the same picture. That 1.3 billion we just saw from March was actually the highest number since June of 2022 as well, and much higher than what we've seen the last few months where we were under a billion, 887, 863 million, 824. Um, so again, trend heading in the right direction. And in this past month, the increase in activity is definitely showing. Now, if we flip over to the townhouses and condos, a little bit different story there with the closed sales being down 21% and dollar volume being down 18%. So they didn't fare as well as the single family homes here in Palm Beach County. However, that trend mark is still about the same where the closed sales of 1335 we just saw for townhouses and condos in Palm Beach County is again the highest number we've seen since May of 2022, which is a promising sign and if we uh, scroll on down to the dollar volume, same thing here, the 702 million, significantly higher than the previous months from what we've seen. And again, the highest number, the total dollar volume we've seen since May of 2022 as well. So all good signs for some of the market stabilization that I think a lot of us have been experiencing or starting to sense. Now that is for Palm Beach County as a whole. For those that have watched my previous videos, you know that here in the north part of Palm Beach County, I like to actually break it down and look at North County separately. Um, so we're gonna flip on over here, look at the North County numbers. And again, it's a similar picture. So closed sales were down 8.5% compared to 7.9% as the county. And dollar volume in the north part was down 18.2% compared to being down 14.2% and Palm Beach County as a whole. So not much of a change in the north part of the county there. Um, one thing that is a little bit off, as you can see in North Palm Beach County, the percent of list price received was down at 92.9% for single family homes versus the 94.8 that the rest of the county saw. Um, and that's you know something that we'll talk about a little bit here further as we dive into the Palm Beach Gardens and Jupiter areas specifically. Now, looking back at the north part of the county townhouses, Similar picture, closed sales were down 28%, dollar volume was down 23%, very similar as the county as a whole, which was down 21 and 18 respect, uh, respectively. Um, and then if we go ahead and take a look at the total market as a whole, both single families and townhouse and condos combined for North Palm Beach County, um, you can see the total market overview, closed sales were actually down 19% compared to last year and dollar volume was down 19.9, basically 20% compared to last year. So even though there's been some promising signs, there's still a little bit of a lag uh, compared to our percent change versus March of 2022. Now, looking a little bit further here locally, we're gonna dive into the city. So if we take a look, we'll start out with Palm Beach Gardens. So Palm Beach Gardens has a quite a different picture going on. So closed sales for single family homes in Palm Beach Gardens was actually up 42% year over year. So a substantial difference from the rest of the county. However, average sales price was also down 28%. So when you factor both of those in, you can see the dollar volume was actually only up 2.9. So even though we had a 42% increase in closed sales because that average sales price was so significantly lower, our total dollar volume for the market here in Palm Beach Gardens was actually only up 2.9%, but not a bad number overall. And if we flip down to townhouses and condos here in Palm Beach Gardens, um, a little bit more stable, I guess you could say, uh, with 13% down in closed sales, median sales, average sales down 1 in 15, 
But again, just like the rest of the county, dollar volume on townhouses and condos was negative 27.3%, whereas North Palm Beach County, that was down for townhouses and condos, 23%. And for Palm Beach County as a whole, it was only down 18% for townhouses and condos. So a little bit different story here in Palm Beach Gardens. The other thing that I would like to point out about Palm Beach Gardens locally here is that percent of original list price received was actually at 92.5% for single family homes, again, versus the county, which was at 94.8. That's a significant change. And that's why when you look at this median time to contract, Palm Beach Gardens is actually 50 days median time to contract versus the county at 31 days. So the homes are taking a lot longer to sell here locally in Palm Beach Gardens, hence why this monthly supply of inventory is also at 4.2 versus the 3.2 that we're seeing at the county level. And that's because we're just not pricing homes properly from the start. Uh, so we need to get better at that agents and, and making sure our sellers are being realistic with that original asking price. Now, if we flip on over to Jupiter, Jupiter had a little bit stable month with closed sales only up 5%. Median sales price, yes, it was down 10%, but average sales price was up 4%. So all single digits there pretty much. And then overall dollar volume was actually up 10.2 because of that increase in activity, which is great. However, we're still seeing the same thing in Jupiter as we are in Palm Beach Gardens with that percent of original list price received down at 92.2%. And again, that median time the contract at 50 days. So kind of a similar storyline here locally in the Palm Beach Gardens, Jupiter area compared to the rest of North Palm Beach County and Palm Beach County as a whole. Now, of course, these are just a quick few highlights on the areas locally, and that is the city view. We all know that each city has a few different zip codes. Of course, you got to dive down locally into the different zip codes as well as the actual different neighborhoods and communities within each zip code. Um, so just looking at a quick few of those, you can see here in Palm Beach Gardens, 33410, closed sales were up 50%, active inventory up 242%, so major increase there. And if we switch on over to another zip code in Palm Beach Gardens, which is 33418, you can see the numbers start to change a little bit. Closed sales weren't up nearly as high, only up 20%. However, same storyline with that active inventory up 251 days. If we flip on over to Jupiter, 33458, which is a big part of Jupiter area, you can see close sales, they were up 5% while the average sales price was down 15%. But again, active inventory 115% up from a year ago. So those are all promising signs there. But if we switch on over to 33477, for example, which has a lot of townhouses and condos in that zip code, again, we can see some differences. You can see that the uh, average sales price was up 34%. The active inventory was up 64%. That's all good news there. But look at this median percent of original list price received, way lower than any other area that we've seen throughout Palm Beach County thus far down to 89.6 percent median percent of original list price received in zip code 33477 again that tells the story and you can see that median time the contract is up to 59 days in that zip code that's why agents realistic sellers got to do a better job pricing the homes properly based on today's market and putting better pricing strategies in place so hopefully you got a little bit something out of this video. Again, this shows you how localized real estate can be. So all the different uh, neighborhoods, all the different cities, all the different parts of the county, they can all change drastically. And that's why it's important to partner yourself with a local economist of choice that can sift through the data, give you the real transparent facts, and let you know the truth about where the market's heading, where it's been, and no fluff just black and white, looking at the data and making you know smart decisions based off what the numbers are telling us. So if you have any questions, you'd like to uh, sit down for a consultation, please reach out to us, Brick and Tide Home Group, 561-886-8921. Take care.